Sexist, misogynistic and an attack on the leadership of Māori women. That is how recent remarks by Shane Jones have been described after he called Ehumato protest leader Pania Newton a young putiputi, meaning a young flower, during his visit to Ratana last week. A group of almost 100 wahine Māori have released a public statement calling him a bully and some want an apology. Tianiwa Hurihanganui has more. I am in no way swayed by this constant social media grandstanding by our young putiputi putti, Pania. Pania must not pretend that she is something in the Māori world that she's not. You deride your mana and te ao Māori, not from police and parkings. Shane Jones last week not holding back on his opinion of Pania Newton. The Cabinet Minister has always been a vocal opponent of the land occupation at Ihumatau in South Auckland, but Pania Newton says his latest remarks were personal. Yeah, I was really um, taken back actually. Uh, our entire campaign, he has openly criticised us, but he has never taken direct attacks towards us. It's not okay for men to marginalise women, especially Māori men, to our wahine Māori. Pania Newton has occupied Ihumatau for the last three years. Her relentless campaigning to have the disputed land returned, garnering support from all corners of Te Ao Māori, including from the Kingitanga. Following Shane Jones's recent remarks, she's now got the backing of almost 100 Māori academics, activists, artists and political commentators who have released an open statement calling him a bully. Criminal justice reform advocate Awatea Mita is particularly offended. As a wahine Māori leader, I felt a deep sense of hurt by what Shane Jones has said. Shane Jones is another man who has come in and tried to denigrate Māori women and Māori woman leadership. When you look at the history of uh, Shane Jones' statement towards Māori women, this is where I feel he just is highlighting his sexism and his misogyny. Shane Jones has declined to be interviewed, but Dr Huhana Hickey, who has signed the public statement, says he's got some answering to do. Calling someone a putiputi putti is rather a condescending statement to dismiss our rangatahi who are doing the hard yards often in advocacy and advocating. She hasn't been pleasing Pākehā and she has already derived her mana in Te Ao Māori. She lives out that way, she breathes it. I've watched her, seen her over the years grow in her knowledge around Indigenous issues and that woman has mana. She says he should apologise to Pania Newton, kanohi ki te kanohi, face to face. I think if he kanohi ki te kanohi to her, apology, sit down and listen to her, he'll know what she's saying. Yes, he's a politician, but that's not appropriate. And in our world, we like to kanohi people, sit down and talk to them if we have a raru raru with them. And he didn't do any of that. He just made a media statement that was quite dismissive, condescending and a little bit insulting. Pania Newton says she would be happy to meet and have a corridor with Shane Jones. A resolution to the Ihumatau land dispute is expected to be announced before Waitangi Day. Motehotaka o te ahi ahi, ko te aniwa, hurihanga nui, aho.